Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Be Delicious Budgeting. My name is Anna. I am very excited to announce my husband and I are going to be traveling to New York for our third year wedding anniversary. It is something I've been wanting to do off my bucket list. Also, it does meet partial one of my goals. So we wanted to travel to two countries and one state, so we're going to be going to one new state. Ernie's been there before, but I haven't. So today I'm going to do something a little different. Of course, I'll be doing a pack with me and taking you all to New York. But I just recently did an Amazon try-on haul, which I never thought I would do because as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, this is like the heaviest weight I've ever been. So I never thought I'd do a try-on haul, but you were all so nice and made my confidence go up. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to show you all the outfits I got. I mainly got from Amazon or Marshalls, so they're cute and affordable. And I'm honestly not trying to be super bougie out in New York. I know that's like a place like to go for fashion and style. I honestly do not want to be a Target because honestly we're going to be taking like the subway or the bus or walking so I'm just kind of going for like cute, a little fashionable and most importantly comfortable because in the past I would definitely prioritize like cuteness over comfortability so I got some walking shoes so I got some outfit ideas from Pinterest and Instagram so stay tuned. Old Anna would normally bring in a check-in item, a personal item, and a carry-on but Lately, whenever Ernie and I have to fly to another state, we've only been bringing a carry-on and a personal item, and it's just so much easier. Less stuff to carry, you don't have to wait around or stand in line, it is way more convenient. So one thing that I've done to prevent from overpacking, try to mix and match like things I could wear like multiple times or things that will go like most together, and I literally like try on shoes with this. So I'm not bringing like five pairs of shoes. For this trip, honestly though, I'm probably gonna bring three pairs of shoes and one pair of slippers bring slippers because when you're like walking all day it's nice to get a cozy pair of slippers and i got some from ross for ten dollars anywho so i just thought i'd share with you all some outfit ideas that i got and if you're new to my channel welcome i focus on content such as beauty lifestyle and how to save money so if you're interested please hit the subscribe button down below also let's give this video a thumbs up be sure to turn on notifications i upload every wednesday and saturday and let's just get started with the outfits i'm considering for new york Outfit number one, I got this shirt from Marshalls for $13 and I think it's really cute. I didn't know it was gonna like show like skin underneath, so I'm definitely gonna wear like a bandeau underneath. But I think it's really cute and I don't know if you can see in the mirror, but I have like some sketchers on. I just got them from Marshalls for $35 and I got some insoles from Dollar Tree. I got the Dr. Schultz, yes, they have Dr. Schultz heel liners. So I got those and I just add some gel insoles to make them like even more comfortable. I broke them in when we went to San Francisco. We were like literally walking all day. My feet did not hurt, so very thankful for that. But I think this is like really cute, really casual. It's a little like sexy, even though like I'm not really like showing much. I think if I wear the bandeau, it'll look like really cute. Also, I can pair this with some jeans and I'm bringing some sketcher wedges as well. I think that would be cute, but for my comfortability, I think that'd be too much with the shorts, but maybe if I decide to wear jeans, I think that will definitely like dress up and elevate the look. This is the second outfit. I got this t-shirt last year at Target for $12. It's very comfy. I think I might wear this on a Tuesday, because it's Taco Tuesday. But it's just like a cute little graphic tee. Same shorts. I'm also going to be packing a black pair of like cotton linen shorts so I think this would go with that as well. So the same shirt so these are the black shorts I was talking about so again it'll look good with the denim shorts and this. I think the other one will look good with this as well the white shirt but again I'm just trying to get pieces where I can like mix and match or alternate each day but I just want to show you all what I was talking about. On to the next one. I have these shorts from Old Navy. It's a three and a half inch chino short. So I always get them on sale and they're like 15 or $12. Otherwise they're like $30, I believe. So I literally bought these in like almost every single color possible. And I have a size medium on. And this Coca-Cola shirt, I believe I got from Target last year and it's about 12 or $13. I'll try to mention like where I got things, but honestly, it's like really rare if I buy like new clothes because if it fits, I just stick with it. But again, I think this would look better with the denim shorts to be honest, but it does go with this. Wearing the same sneakers, very versatile, very casual and cute. On to the next outfit. And of course, I have to bring my friend's t-shirt. The show is based in New York. How can I not bring it? So I think it goes best with the black shorts. Again, I'm wearing the same sneakers. 
these sneakers go with like four of my outfits already so again not trying to overpack there but i think it's cute and it's comfortable i can do like a colorful eye makeup look with it i just have like a whole vibe for it honestly it's like one of my favorite outfits because i love the show friends i'm in new york finally so it's just a whole vibe for me but before i forget i got this shirt i believe like two years ago at h&m i think it was around like 10 or 12 dollars love this outfit it's very cute i think it's fashionable comfortable so this is actually ernie's shirt so if he wants to wear it one night you're welcome ernie so i like it because a little bit longer i just rolled up the sleeve so i think it's nice it's supposed to be like super humid though so it might be like too hot i actually really love this outfit because it's cute it's a little more dressier but casual with my sneakers i got this like years and years ago i think i was like a junior in college at styles for less i remember it being on the clearance rack though i don't remember the price but i really like it because if i wanted to wear wedges with it i could definitely like dress it up or i could just go out all day and wear my cozy sneakers and i just like how versatile it is and it is very nice and comfy before i forget so i'm gonna wear this jacket on the plane so that way it's not taking up room in my luggage and also i'm gonna use it on the plane for a blanket because i always get cold but i did read that june is a unique month to travel in new york because it is like hot and humid during the day but i can be a little bit chilly so this is actually very lightweight i actually got it in san francisco at buffalo exchange a thrift shop for only 16 dollars it's an absolute steal it fits me perfectly I love it. So I think this is like very nice to bring. It's very lightweight and warm and also like very fashionable to classic piece. Like how it's a little bit longer in the back. So it definitely goes well with dresses and definitely like elevates the look. And just to give you all a closer look, these are what my shoes look like. These are Skechers. So normally I don't like Skechers because they're too bulky and they have like a huge S on them. But I actually really like these. They're very like stylish and kind of sporty. And as you can tell, they go with a lot of outfits. And again, I got these at Marshalls for $35. I got these from the Skechers outlet. So these are actually really cute and they're very comfortable and they're Velcro, which is super nice. And I just got some Dollar Tree insoles. Honestly, I'm gonna swap these out for the gel ones. And then I just lined them with the heel liners so I don't get any blisters. So yeah, I definitely walked around in these, broke these in. I highly recommend this shoe if you need a dressier shoe, but also comfortable to walk around in. First Amazon try on haul was actually influenced by this outfit. So for the Sex and City tour, I thought it'd be cute to kind of resemble Carrie Bradshaw's outfit at the beginning scene, which now looking back, I have it opposite. She has a white tool skirt with a like, pink lilac top like a little pink top if you check out that video i did not like the skirt that most resembled it and this is like a little different but it's very cute very feminine i definitely spent a lot more than i want to but you know it's just like a fun outfit to wear on the sex and city tour i'm gonna wear it the full day so i finally found a white shirt that matched so i think this was like 20 or 17 dollars on amazon so it's really cute i love this skirt i think this skirt was about 20 something dollars i do not own a skirt this is the only skirt in my entire closet but it's very cute very feminine it's long enough i don't have to worry about anything showing i don't have to wear space with it which is nice so it has like a little slip underneath which is very nice as well so it's not see through so i like it and i'm wearing my sketcher wedges with it so i'll be very nice and comfortable for the walking tour. So this shirt is very cute with the pair of jeans. I'm kind of debating if I want to bring jeans or not because it is going to be so hot and humid for going in June. So I'm looking at the weather app every day. It's like 80-90% humidity, which is crazy. It's not humid in my hometown. And my husband and I went to New Orleans, Louisiana last year for anniversary. It's crazy humid, but kind of what I'm reading is going to be hot and humid during the day might be a little chilly at night so we're gonna be there for a total of eight days so it definitely looks like i'm bringing a lot of outfits but you know this shirt goes with like the jeans it goes with any of the shorts i'm bringing the skirt the shoes the jeans can pair with any shirts that i just previously tried on so it's just all about like mixing and matching here i absolutely love this dress it's so lightweight and comfortable honestly it feels like i'm wearing pajamas got it at marshall's for 13 dollars Went back to Marshall's a few days later, got the exact same dress that's like in a light olive green and it was on clearance for $8, but I love the red and in my Amazon try on haul video, you all said like red is my color and I love like bright bold colors, even though 
most of the things I had tried on is like black or white, but I love this to a pop of color. It's very cute, very comfortable, and it goes very well with my wedges. I think this is more so for like, if we're going out at night, if we're going to like a nice dinner, or even like for a casual day of like, during touristy things. Yeah, I really love this dress from Marshalls. This dress from Marshalls, it was a little bit more on the expensive side. Initially, I got it for like a work outfit and like something to wear in the summer. So it was $40 and Ernie has a shirt. He's bringing like this to New York. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna bring it so we can match. So this is really cute. It's actually Calvin Klein. It's super lightweight. You have to wear like some shorts or slip underneath it because it is a little bit see-through. Also, it has pockets, which is very nice and convenient. Even my wedding dress has pockets for the back. And I'll be wearing this dress more so for going out. Some New York restaurants or bars have like a specific dress code depending on which one you're going to. So I'm just trying to bring a little bit more nicer outfits to meet the dress code. But yeah, I'm not really gonna walk around the city. It's a little too much, it's a little too formal for me because I like to be comfortable. But yeah, I'm just gonna bring it out for a going out outfit. I absolutely love this dress. I actually got it on the clearance rack at Marshalls and it was my size, so it's like sport. It was $16. I love the length of it. I love the lace on it. It's very like flirty. And this is obviously for like going out. This is a runner up for like our anniversary dinner. You know, we're gonna eat at a more upscale place, a little more fancier, or if we go like to a more like upscale or fancy bar. So obviously a going out outfit, definitely not for like a day of like touring attractions or anything like that. But yeah, I really like this one. And then also I have another outfit that I'm considering like either going out or an anniversary outfit. Really depends on the weather and honestly how I'm feeling that day. So let me show you option number two. And this is option number two. It is a black jumpsuit. I got this from TJ Maxx for $35. So Ernie actually likes this one a lot better. I kind of do too, looking at it a bit more. I'm a lot more comfortable. I like how it covers the arms. It goes in at the waist. I like the length, it's super lightweight and comfortable. I do like how the pantsuit isn't super long so I don't have to wear like high heels to prevent myself from stepping on it. So I'm just wearing like these flat sandals. I think I got it from Old Navy if I remember correctly, but technically I'm gonna bring three pairs of shoes and just wear one on the plane. So technically packing two. So it goes well with these shoes, very versatile, very elegant and classy. So I think I'm gonna wear this for our anniversary dinner or if like we go out. I'm not gonna wear it during the day, so this is just like a going out outfit. Literally two hours later, I am finally done trying on all the outfits. So I had some more outfits pulled aside, but after trying it on, I did eliminate four outfits. That is the purpose of this haul. Make sure everything matches with what and like what wasn't fitting the vibe. So I think we have a good combination of like cute, comfortable, casual, and then we have some more fancier going out outfits. So this is when we pack in New York, all affordable outfits. I mainly got from like Marshalls or Amazon. Some outfits were a little bit more pricier like for me, but I'm just like a very frugal person. Let me know in the comment box down below if you like this jumpsuit or the dress for the anniversary dinner. I would definitely love your opinions on that. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn notifications if you haven't. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And I'll see you all in my upcoming videos. Bye everyone.